So I know I'm a little bit late to this and everyone's talked about it, but for the people who have talked about it, I highly recommend checking out their videos. Toku Topics, Ranger Liz, Hawkillies. Go check out their videos because they made some awesome videos talking about it. And I'm kind of late to the party due to me be being busy with work and Power Ranger news coming out. I didn't know if I wanted to talk about this or not, but every time I see this suit on my timeline or when I scroll through Instagram or any social media, I was like, I got to talk about it. I got to talk about it. And now we have an idea of the plot. So this is Kamen Rider Geats. And the theme of the suit is based on a Kutsuni, a Kutsuni uh, which is like a fox demon. And my first exposure to sort of the whole Kutsuni thing was through Tekken with that character. So that's my exposure to, Kit, like, to the whole Kitsune vibe. Um, but either way, this suit looks great. And I want to talk about the belt and stuff like that as well. Because the belt looks pretty amazing as well. But I really like this suit. I will say that. I like the white. I like the red. It's very sim uh, simplistic colors with the whole uh, white, red, or grayish um, grayish color, uh, like gray, red, and black. And then you've got the uh, boots here, which we'll get into in a bit, because I've heard that there's sort of like a build situation going on. I haven't seen build, but where they can swap out parts and sort of get different sort of attachments to their rider armor. I don't know if that's true. Um, I can't remember, but... It looks really cool, especially the gun, the gun theme going for it. But either way, I love the design for this suit. This suit looks amazing. Like, I've talked about it a lot on, like, my timeline and stuff like that. I'm a big fan of this suit. Now, let's jump over the Toku Nation and read what this series is about. So, Cartman Rider Gates has been opened, sharing the full story for this new hero. Kamen Rider Geet's true name is Yukio Hitoshi, also known by the nickname Ace. At one point, this man joins a contest known as the Grand Desire Picks, a contest where a contest where players transform into Kamen Riders and battle the dangerous Jamato Kuriches. The winner of the Grand Prix desires to reshape the world based on the, what their heart desires. Okay. So it sounds like it's a Battle Rail series, sort of like Gaim and uh, Ryuki, which Gaim I've seen, Gaim I've seen and loved. That's like one of the earlier Kamen Rider series I watched from start to finish. I think one of the first ones I watched from start to finish. And Ryuki, I never finished. I think I made it up to episode 25 at least. And I stopped watching. I just got really busy with life and I just stopped watching. And it was really hard to sit through with sort of the pacing of some episodes, but I did like what I saw um, for being an older Kamen Rider series with that sort of slow storing paces, but I just like, it just like ate up too much time for me watching it. Um, each Kamen Rider will gain points in the Desire Grand Picks by battling and defeating the Jamato. Ooh, ooh, this has Gantz vibes going for it. They, they kill monsters and then they get points. Oh, that is awesome. I love Gantz. If you don't know what Gantz is, it's one of my favorite mangas and animes where people have to get points by killing monsters and that's how they win their freedom. Okay, at the time of writing, Geats is the only Kamen Rider revealed for the series, but rumors suggest there will be many up to eight riders participating in the Grand Prix. That's pretty cool. Okay, so this is sort of like a battle royale. This sounds interesting. I need to catch up on Revice. I'm like a couple of episodes behind. Revice is becoming a slog to watch through with the final arc that we're in. With the whole Daiji stuff going on. I need to catch up. I've seen Daiji's new form on Twitter and stuff like that. But I need to catch up. Um, the writer for Kamen Rider Geats is a Kamen Rider veteran, Yuya Takahashi whose resume includes X-Aid and Kamen Rider Zero One. I love those series. I've watched X-Aid from start to finish. Loved it. I loved Zero One because that was the first Kamen Rider series I started watching weekly, and I fell in love with it, and I was like, I want to watch more Kamen Rider. 
Uh, directing the series will be writer veterans uh, Shojino Nakazawa and Tekore Shigihara. Uh, longtime producer Naomi Takaba returns once again for her first Kamen Rider series in the Rewa era. Kamen Rider Geats begins on September 4th, 2022. Okay, so Revice is wrapping up at the end of August, it sounds like it. So I think we've got like maybe five episodes to go, and then it's wrapped up. But either way, I want to talk about other stuff with this poster. So let me just go over to uh, Ranger Board, because they've got all the pictures up there. Uh, scroll down for all the Power Ranger news that just came out. I've talked about that in a different video. Okay, so close up on the suit. Love the helmet. I've talked about that at the start of the video. I love the whole Kitsune, um, Kitsune, um, Kitsune vibe going for it. Belt. I like the belt. It looks really great. I like the whole motorbike um, handle it's got going for it. That looks really cool. The belt looks really simple, really cool. Doesn't look too bulky and too big. Looks very nice, very clean. I'm a big fan of it. The gun weapon, the gun weapon looks great. I do wonder if that's going to turn into a sword, but that's really cool because it is a Grand Prix, a gaming thing. He's called Ace, so he's probably a gamer, so they're going for that uh, COD Overwatch vibe with guns, games with guns and stuff like that. And then the full body suit looks amazing. So, I don't know what else I can say about Kamen Rider Geats that everyone else has said about. Um, I love the suit. I'm very invested in the story. The story sounds like a lot of fun. Will I review this weekly? Probably not because I'm so busy and swamped with her work and stuff like that. There's a lot on my plate to do, so I probably won't have time to sit down when I get home from work, watch Don Brothers, watch Carmen Rider, and then record a review for both of them. That's like a lot of time for me to do both of them, and that's probably going to drain a lot of energy out of me to do that every week so I'm probably just going to stick for Don Brothers for now but I will probably do my first impressions on episode one that's for sure but I don't know if I'm going to be doing like weekly reviews for Kamen Rider Geats unless it's really really good and I change my mind but the reviews won't come out like on the Monday or like on a Monday like when my um Don Brothers review comes out it'll probably come out on like Maybe a Tuesday, at least. Um, so we'll see what happens. But with that said, what do you think of Carmen Rider Geats? Do you love it? Do you hate it? Tell me in the comment section down below. I'd love to hear your thoughts and opinions. With that said, I'm going to bring this video to a close. If you enjoyed this video, hit that thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel if you're new. And I will see you guys later. Peace out. Take care. Bye.